With a bit over two months into 2023, equity markets have waded into troubled waters. While investors were hoping to move past Adani-related worries, renewed fears of higher interest rates, the collapse of three regional banks in the US, and fresh trouble at Swiss lender Credit Suisse have accelerated the pain for equities. As evident from technical charts, the Nifty benchmark index has been trading in a strong downtrend over the last three months. Last Friday, the index gave up its 200 DMA of 17,450 and has consistently ended below this level since then, indicating pessimism among market participants. Analysts believe the overall trend for the index remains negative and as long as it stays below the 200 DMA, selling pressure will likely continue. Nifty has breached the 200 DMA. The 200 daily moving average is placed at 17,462. As long as we stay below these levels, expect the selling pressure to continue. Now, since we have corrected a lot, Nifty is trying to find a support and that support is at 16,900. If we manage to hold that support, we can expect a mild pullback recovery rally towards 17,300, 17,462 zone. But if 16,900 is not held, we can expect the correction to again go towards the levels of 16,700. So overall, the broader trend remains negative and one should keep a sell on rise approach. Meanwhile, in the derivative segment, the open interest in Nifty March futures rose by 21.3% in the last four sessions, while the index was down 3.5% during this time, hinting at a buildup of short positions. Open interest refers to the total number of outstanding derivative contracts. A fall in the price of an underlying asset with a rise in its open interest indicates bearishness. That said, even though the near-term market outlook remains downbeat, the economy's strong fundamentals make analysts confident of a firm recovery from a one-year perspective. Perspective. Hence, they suggest investors bottom fish fundamentally good stocks amid current weakness. As far as the new slow on uh, this Silicon Valley Bank uh, SVB is concerned, I think it is more of a knee jerk reaction to some other banks. So, you know, we have to outgrow this habit which is inculcated in us that anything and everything that happens in US or anywhere in the world has got its direct consequences in India. I think we have to get a little bit matured. I think if you're not looking at next three to six months, if you're looking at next year, year and a half, these are great times to create a portfolio. You can invest in stocks that you wanted to invest at values that you wanted to invest. Don't rush into the market. Be a disciplined investor and invest over a period of time. In between that, in the next three to four months, we'll be facing monsoon season. There also there is a new slow that because of only know the monsoons might be below normal. But in case if the weather changes and if the impact is less, then even if we get normal or a little bit lower than normal, then inflationary concerns will not be something that we'll be worried about, especially with food or agri, you know, uh, inflation in case of shortfall of monsoon. So all this is creating and along with that uncertainty in terms of new slow from the overseas market. You should expect a... Uh, you know, low, higher single digit or a lower double digit kind of return as far as this calendar year is concerned, up to December 2023. Overall, analysts suggest investors do not make allocations in one go and keep a medium term view on the market as the El Nino impact and the interest rate trajectory play out. Today, equity markets will trace the global mood for queues. Investors will also react to the European Central Bank's monetary policy decision. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.